So hello, hello, welcome to the next vlog. Um, today's very foggy again, foggier than yesterday. Today's the 27th, it's Thursday the 27th of December. In yesterday's vlog, I was going to talk to you about how my Christmas day was and what happened on Christmas day. So I said I'd do it when it's quieter and I'm in my study, in my junk room and I can concentrate better and not riding and there's no traffic going past. So today, I'm going to talk to you about that. So Christmas Day then, we went over to my uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law for Christmas lunch and as those of you that follow my, my vlogs will know, I've got problems with my diet, I've got problems with IBS, I've got problems with stomach ache and stomach cramps and diarrhea and all sorts of stuff. So I had those tests done about three months ago where I I sent off and I got the York tests done so that I could find out what my triggers were and I've adjusted my diet and I've been eating accordingly since. Since then I do get the odd problem but on the whole I've been a lot better. It's helped me help my weight drop down so I've lost what about a stone since 12 months ago um, I'm about 10 stone 5, 10 stone 4, or for the American ones, 144, 145 pounds, or in kilograms, it's about 66 and a half, 67 kilograms. I was 66 this morning, so it's about that sort of order. So I went over to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's on Christmas Day and they cooked a meal for us. My brother-in-law Darren, thank you very much Darren if you're watching this. It was a lovely meal and I know that you'd been very careful and only used ingredients that I can actually eat. However, shortly after I started to get stomach cramp and stomach pain. I got lots of bloating, lots of trapped gas. Um, we then went over to my other sister-in-law's, Anne and Andy's, for the uh, af later afternoon and for the evening, and like the usual buffet-type tea that you have on Christmas Day, and I was in quite a lot of pain and discomfort, and I tried going for a walk, I tried lying on the floor, it wasn't happening. So I knew that I was going to get a bout of my flare-up. So when we came home then, during the evening, so probably from about nine o'clock onwards, during the evening I was disturbed sleep, I was up in the night to the toilet, and I think on the whole, I know that when I get a flare up, it takes about 24 hours for it to work through my system. So I think I was to the toilet with diarrhea of about five, six times. So I've mentioned before in the vlogs that when I get a flare up, um, I know that I'm going to be about 24 hours and then afterwards I feel really sort of jaded, lethargic and it almost feels like you've had a really bad hangover so I was hoping to get out on the bike on Boxing Day earlier in the morning but of course because of the flow up I knew that it was going to be later afternoon when I went out so as you saw in the vlog yesterday I got out about 1 o'clock I think in the end and it w didn't surprise me that I ran out of energy yesterday on the ride because because you know you don't absorb any of those nutrients from the food from Boxing Day from Boxing Day from Christmas Day from the Christmas Day meal so that is what I wanted to talk to you about yesterday is I had a, a flare up now of course the flare up that I had I know categorically was not food related so I'm now starting to think that I am getting a side effect or oh, there's a, a proportion of it, because of course it's never black and white in medicine, it's always, there's lots of factors involved. So, um, I suspect that I'm on, because of my heart attack that I had in 2014, I take several tablets. So I take um, an antiplatelet drug, I take clopidogrel, I take an anti-cholesterol drug, I take a statin, a torvastatin, and I take a blood pressure tablet, Ramapril which is an ACE inhibitor. Of those, I only take the three, I don't take a beta blocker. So, I suspect it's my statin. 
So you can get stomach wind type problems with both the Ramipril and the Statin. I get a lot of dizziness, a lot of light -headed headedness, which is the Ramipril. I'm on the highest dose of Ramipril. I'm on the highest dose of Statin. So I'm on 10 milligrams of Ramipril and I'm on 80 milligrams of the Statin. One of the side effects of the Statin is wind, abdominal cramps, and you can get severe abdominal cramps as well, which is what I was getting. So I need to go back and see my GP because gradually over the years, it's got worse and worse and worse. And this probably does tie back because I used to get a bit of IBS before, but not as bad as I've been getting over the last 12, 18 months, I'd say. I suspect I've developed the side effects from the statin. So I need to speak to my GP and see if we can, I need, I'm due a new blood test, blood, sorry, I'm due a new blood test to check my kidney function and you know, just general uh, cholesterol levels, etc. Now, because of the change in my diet, my cholesterol levels should be down quite a bit, I hope. What I want to try and persuade the GP to do for me is take me off the statin, just not have me on a statin. I'm happy to control the cholesterol levels with my diet and if I need to go totally vegetarian or vegan in order to do that, absolutely fine by me, I'm not bothered. Um, so at the moment I still have been eating a little bit of meat, so I've been eating chicken and we had some pork on Christmas day, it was pulled pork that my brother-in-law did, it was very nice but I don't mind if we miss that out altogether. I'm still eating fish. So obviously that wouldn't be vegan, that would be pescatarian, I believe is the term. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd fill you in that and what happened. Once I've spoken to the GP and they've decided what they're gonna do, I'll come back to you and I'll, I'll let you know. I'd rather go off a statin altogether. I suspect what they're going to want to do is say, let's get your blood test, let's see the results, and then if we can, we'll leave you on it, but just we'll, just reduce the dose, that's what they want to do, second choice from them will be um, changing the statin, but I'd rather not do that, I'd rather just at the least reduce it down to a minimum dose or no statin whatsoever, so I'll probably put this up as a, a vlog on its own, um, just to let you know what I wanted to say about my Christmas day. So I know those of you will be will be watching are probably thinking, oh, I got drunk or whatever. It wasn't that. It was just my flare up. I want to drink my sherry because I like my sherry at Christmas. I've not had any alcohol. I've not had any alcohol for three months at least. So yeah, let's leave it at that today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog.